Hey Primary 6 Math Prodigy, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery and today we're going to go into the final question of your assessment paper number 10 and this question is a typical, leche, irritating, annoying math question you will get in PSLE on speed, <laughs> okay? But it's not difficult, it's easy but it's superbly troublesome, okay? So, if you, um, the, the, the advantage you have against other kids in taking the PSLE is you know that it's easy but it's just troublesome. So you just have to move and just do it, right? Uh, there's a lot of things in life that we don't like to do, but we have to do it, and this is one of them. So let's look, take a look at the question. At 0, 0900 hours, in other words, at 9 a.m., a lorry started from town X and traveled towards town Y at a speed of 55 kilometers per hour. So immediately what I would do is I would draw a timeline. Oops. Timeline like that. Town X to town Y. And the lorry, so I'm going to try to draw a lorry here. The good looking lorry. Yay, a lorry. Okay, and, <laughs> and this is going at 55 kilometers per hour. Okay, and um, what happens then? Um, at 1100 hours, okay, this is at 0, 0900 hours, huh? so 0, 0900 hours. Now, at 1100 hours, what happens then? At 1100 hours, at 11 a.m. in the morning, a car started from town Y and traveled towards town X. The speed of the car remained the same until it passed lorry. Okay, so this is a car. Yay, a nicer looking car. Okay, and it travels at a constant speed. We don't know at what speed yet. But it meets the lorry at one at eleven hundred, you know, at thirteen hundred hours, and at thirteen hundred hours, at this point, the lorry had travelled five nine on the journey. So what does it tell you? That tells me that I have to break this down into nine parts: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four, five of the wheel. We actually meet. Bam! So bam over here. All right. So they meet there. And um, after passing the lorry, the car decreased its speed by 8 km per hour and traveled the new speed for the remaining journey at what time did the car reached town X. So basically, after he met the car, okay, what happened was the car actually began moving at minus 8 km per hour. In other words, it reduced its speed to minus, uh, by 8 km per hour. So what happens now? Uh, what do we do? Are we lost or what's happening? I don't know. Okay, so basically we have a lot of details um but we just have to make sense of it first off 0, 0900 hours to 1300 hours the lorry has moved five out of nine of the journey so what that what does that tell us we have the time don't we okay let's take a look at your dst table we have the time don't we yes we do do we have the distance no do we have the speed yes so distance equals to speed times time so in other words for the lorry is 55 kilometers times 9 to 1 o'clock is how long? It's 4 hours. So equal to 220 kilometers. So that's what we know already. So the, tra the, the, the thing has traveled 220 kilometers. Now what else do we know? Um, we know, uh, do we know the car speed? No, we don't know yet. Do we know the time? Yes. Do we know the distance? We can find out. So the distance is actually 220 divided by, okay, in other words, Pi over 9, right? So 5 units is equal to 220. Okay, so therefore 1 unit is equal to what? 220 divided by 5. And that will give me the answer of 80, no, 44. So 4 units, which is the what the car travel, is equal to what? 44 times 4. Oh, is that correct? 44 times 4 equals to 176. 176. And what is the time taken? The time taken is 11 to 1 to 2 hours. Therefore, my distance for the car, sorry, my speed for the car is actually equals to distance over my time. Distance is uh, 176. My time is 2. Therefore, I will get the speed of my car, which is divided by 2 here. I'll get 88. 88 kilometers per hour. Now that's good. Now we know the now we know the speed of the car. So we write this down. 88 kilometers per hour. Okay? And then it minus 8 here, therefore, therefore it's here it will be 
88 minus 8 equals to 80 kilometers per hour for the rest of the journey. So 80 kilometers per hour for the rest of the journey. Okay, how long did it reach town X? So we have the speed, we have the distance, which is 220, as long as we found out. Can we find the time? Yes, we can. So distance is 220 divided by my speed, which is 80. And then I will get, uh, what? 2.75 hours uh, away, which is actually equals to, uh, what? Uh, 2.75 is 2 and 3 quarter hour, which gives you 2 hour 45 minutes. 2 hour 45 minutes. And then from there, we just add. Lah. We have the 1 o'clock, they met up. So plus 2 hour 45 minutes, we will get what? Okay, I got no space already, but I'm going to just remove my logo. 1300 plus 2 hour 45 will give you uh, 1, 2, 3, 3, 45 p.m. All right, and that is the answer. If you got that one right, high five to you because you are a math prodigy. Good job. All right, and that is the, the answer. All right, and that brings me to the code of the week. This is the final code of the week. And remember, you only have less than 90 days. And in fact, you have less than 40 days if you were to minus off all your holidays. Um, and there is a simple way to do this. And I'm giving you the simple way. And if you work it, it will work out. You will get that A and A star that you want. Yes? So all you have to do, like I said, again, please, 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 please heed my advice. Take that 5-year series. Take that 10-year series. Do it three times over. Um, understand how to do the solutions. You know, keep it in your head. And when time comes for you to do the actual PSLE, it's going to be a breeze. All right, with that, this is Coach Saifu signing off saying you are a math prodigy. Good job.